Hi everybody! Welcome back. My name is Rika and this is a Hot Stitch and Stash where I talk about all things cross stitch. If you are a new subscriber, special welcome to you and if you are a returning viewer, thank you again so much for watching. I am changing it up a little bit today. I am in my formal dining room and because I need the space to have all my things and I hope that I don't forget anything because I just got back from Stitch West last week and I wanted to do a video before I completely forget about the amazing weekend I had in Utah with um, Debbie and Kev, a Snug Harbor Crafts. So I wanted to go ahead and just do this video. Hopefully it won't be super duper long, but there are so much stuff to say and so much things to show you all that, um, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be It's gonna be a long video, I think. But today is October 31st, it's Halloween. Um, and I can't wait to have the trick-or-treaters come to my house. It's bright and sunny outside, but it's super cold. So I'm hoping that we still have people coming because I can't wait to give everybody uh, candy bars. But anyway, my hair is like looking really weird. So um, where do I begin? So as I mentioned, I just got back from Utah um, at Stitch West last week. And then when I got back home, I had like a very busy week trying to catch up on all the project bag pre-orders that I had before I left that I didn't manage to complete before I left for the retreat. So I feel like this month I'm just trying to play catch up with everyone's orders. And so if you are one of those people that are still waiting on your bag, I am working on them. I am now on the um, autumnal bags of the Blackbird Designs, which I'm going to show you guys the fabric that I got from Shepherd's Bush and then I'm going to go back and finish the remainder of the last batch of the Christmas ones from last week. Anyway, so um, I'm rounding on. But let's begin, I guess, because it's going to be a very long video if I don't stop talking about mindless things. So I went to Utah. I went on a Wednesday afternoon and, I, and then I left and came back on the Sunday afternoon. So when I first got there, it was like... I can't, I just can't believe that I was, first of all, in Utah, and I was going to meet um, Kev. I met Debbie at StitchCon last year, and she was amazing, and I knew that Kev is going to be equally amazing because, hello, I love the both of them so much, but I had so much fun. I just have no words. I feel like the two of them just really made the whole experience special for me, and so... I can't wait to go back and see them again. Oh my gosh, my hair is good. And I um, miss them so much. And I just, if you guys ladies are watching, you know how much I love you. And that I just, like I said, it's one of probably the highlight of my year. I thought StitchCon was going to be the highlight, but no, it's actually Stitch West. It's one of the highlights of the year for me um, because of just the fun and wonderful things that happened that whole weekend. I just think that Debbie and Kev really worked so hard to make that retreat special for everybody and, and it shows because of all the small details that they worked on and it's just top notch. So I can't wait to go back next year. Hopefully they do a spring retreat because if they do, I'm still going to be there. Um, but anyway, so got there Wednesday and um, helped with Debbie and Kev at the hotel because when I walked into the room, I was, first of all, I shipped like a ton of bags to Debbie. And so I was going to go to the room, so the stitching room so that I could get the box from them and then set up my little space for everybody to pick up their pre-orders and some of the bags that I was going to sell on the weekend. And so um, I walked in there and I saw this balloon. So I was like, are you guys, are you guys trying to make a balloon garland? And so they said, yes, which... I have experience now in balloon garland making because I've made like three of them. So uh, I helped with that, which uh, was super fun and um, glad that I was able to to do something to help them with the whole weekend's preparation because I know that they really were trying so hard to make to make the whole weekend a success, which it, it is. I mean, you, it is amazing. I, I love everything about the whole retreat. Uh, so then Thursday, the retreat starts, and I got to see Brenda again from Handwork Maniac. I met Brenda briefly at StitchCon. I didn't get a chance to actually 
we spent enough time with her, but this time, this retreat, I got to spend more time with her and her daughter, especially Marie. Hi, Marie, how are you? And um, I got to see their stitching, and it's just, you know, it's I like the smaller retreats because I feel like you could actually talk to people more and get to know people more as opposed to the bigger retreats. Like Stitchcon, Stitchcon, there were so many people that it's really impossible to meet every single one and have like connections with. But I feel like this weekend I was able to do that more and then shop some more. <laughs> but um, more on that later. So um, I got to see Brenda's wonderful stitching. She makes me want to stitch on the 40 count because that woman's stitching is amazing. So I got to see her working on a hand hand thread drawn hand thread drawn thread um piece it's an, the autumn piece with the house i don't know the name of it but it is beautiful so i got to see her stitch on that and start on her new praiseworthy stitches on this beautiful silk weaver like greenish fabric which she showed on her channel um thank you brenda for the shout out i had so much fun meeting your daughter and talking to you some more and just getting to know you more as a stitchy friend. So um, I can't wait to see you hopefully at StitchCon. If not, then maybe Stitch Quest again. So, um, but yeah, so that's that. And then I was able to um, sit with amazing people on my table, which I just, I, I'm, I feel like everything in the whole weekend, like the stars just aligned, everything went so great. So I was sitting with Kay um, at Kay Stitching, what is Kay's um, Bloss or Instagram? Hold please, let me go and get my phone so that I can tell you guys uh, the details because I cannot remember people's names and I would not, I would hate to butcher people's Instagram names. So hold please. Okay guys, back. Um, so Kay's Instagram page is Kay Stitching Corner. If you haven't seen a video of Kay with Debbie and Kef on the Snug Harbor Crafts Floss Tube page, go check it out. She showed some of her finishes and they're all beautiful. So I'm so glad I got to meet Kay in person. I got to see some of her finishes there at Stitch West. And it's just been a pleasure sitting with her the whole weekend and getting to know her more and her husband. Um, and it's just a whole like family, friends affair the whole weekend long. And then beside her is Laura Bowser, who also received my small. And actually, Laura um, provided me the stuffing for my smalls because I didn't have time to stuff the whole thing. And so she was like, well, I have the stuffing. So she bought me a bag of pillow stuffing that I could put into my smalls. And then beside her is Marcy, who actually gifted me with this amazing uh, purple purple um, Minky Couture uh, blanket, which I haven't opened yet because I'm trying to show you guys um, all the goodies from this weekend. Although some of them I did open because I had to work on some of them already because I'm so excited. But yeah, thank you so much, Marcy. I cried when I received this because he was just so special. I, I have no words. You have no idea how thankful and grateful I am that I got to meet you. And so thank you so much for that. And then beside Marcy is Ray. And Ray is Ray Stitching Sunshine on Instagram. And Ray is the sweetest, just funny. Um, and I've had some, several conversations with Ray. Most of them are all about project bags. But um, I finally got to meet her in person. And I'm so glad that... I, I met you there, Ray. It's a pleasure and I'm, yeah, I have, the whole table is amazing. And beside Ray is Lisa. And Lisa actually finished my smalls because I didn't know how to do the blind stitching. I'm not very good at that kind of stuff. And so I've asked her if she would be willing to do that for me and she said yes. So she did that. So it's a whole team effort to get my smalls finished, like fully finished at Stitch West. And I'm so thankful for you ladies for helping me. And then beside Lisa is the wonderful K, well, Kara of, of um, K, I'm so awful. Um, stitching, hang on, one second. Okay, sorry guys, I knew it. It's K's cross stitch. 
It's Kara of Case Cross Stitch, which she actually knit, um, she was knitting the whole weekend, but it's so great to see other stitchers there that are working on other things. It doesn't have to be cross stitching. So she was working on this beautiful purple scarf and I just enjoyed getting to know her more as well and having her sit with, um, with me the week on the weekend. And then we have um, Kathy and her sister. They're both sitting on our table. They're also so funny. I just love the way they speak to each other because they were beside me and I would listen to the conversation. But just the way they speak, it's like almost like very melodic. I love it. So I had a great time listening to the both of them. They were so hilarious. So um, yeah, that is who is on my table. I hope I did not forget anybody because that will be awful. But um, yeah, so I met them. I've also met a couple of other uh, plus tubers. I'm gonna try to remember everybody. I really, I really suck at all these things. So I met um, Sarah, Sarah King from uh, what is Sarah's of our Stitching Kingdom. See, I try and have, have you all in my little thing. And um, so Sarah and I, I have also had some discussion on um, Instagram, and so I'm so glad I got to finally meet her and her mom. And um, Sarah and her mom, they were actually doing the um, fundraising for the vets and they were um, giving out tickets for uh, raffle. If you donate uh, monetary funds or canned goods or uh, non-perishable items like peanut butter and things like that. So for the food pantry. So they raised, I think, like 700 something dollars on cash. And then obviously they also received a ton of canned goods from everybody. And I um, actually donated a bag, which I'm so glad that Brenda of Handwork Maniac won. I think she showed this on her last costume video. So thank you, Sarah, for everything that you and your mom do for all the vets. Um, it is, to me, very um, close to my heart because of my husband being a, um, a vet and a veteran and still in active duty. So, um, yeah. So then... I also met Jordan and the basic stitches bunch. And I'm just gonna call them, them the bunch. Uh, so they're so cute. They were wearing their matching shirts the whole weekend. And um, unfortunately, I was so tunnel vision the whole weekend. I don't think I even really stitched that I didn't get to buy any of Jordan's pattern. I was like, I'm gonna buy one. And then when I got distracted by other, other things. So I forgot to do that, but I, Really like her new design, which had the winter scene. I'm not sure the exact the exact name of it, but I really want that one. And then she had this like really cute pumpkin that has like the uh, the buffalo check print on there. It's so super, super duper cute. But check them out. They're basic stitches on floss tube, and of course I will be remiss if I did not mention the Alabama girls, Renee and Jennifer, and they're our sisters. And I know that Jennifer lives in California and Renee still lives in Alabama, but I got to talk to them a little bit more. I also met them briefly at StitchCon, but this time um, I, we were able to um, actually get to know each other a little bit better than we did in StitchCon, so that was really nice. But um, I'm praying for um, Jennifer because the whole California fires I really hope that they know how to be evacuated and nothing happens to their home and to them. And so I told her she can always evacuate Oklahoma because I have my house ready always for people to come and visit. So um, yeah, check them out. The their, um, false tube channel is Gazelle's Needlework. And I'm gonna see if I can link their Instagram down below because the both of them have different ones. And then Renee, um, the both of them. They're just great people. Love their accents. I can listen to them speak all day. But yeah, so I'm glad to meet them. And I hopefully I did not miss anybody else. I'm pretty sure I have. I'm pretty sure I've missed somebody. And I'm so sorry if I've missed you. I'm sure it will come to me as I'm talking about all the things. Um, and then, of course, I got to meet not a foster bird, but Jordan. What is Jordan's Instagram? Jordan is... And her mother-in-law... Um, I got to meet the both of them. Jordan's Instagram is 
Jordan that Stitcher 53. She's so funny. Um, we and um, her mother-in-law, Lorinda, had dinner at BF Chang's one night. And so I, you know, spent more time with them. So that was really fun. I hope she got she gets to come to StitchCon because that will be amazing if they're there again. So it will be like a big reunion from Stitch West. So um, yeah, I got to meet her, other people. If I forgot your name, and now my husband is calling me because he's home and I'm recording this. Hang on one second. Oh my goodness, a lot of interruptions. I'm so sorry, my husband came home because he needed something from our garage. And so, life just kind of had to happen. A little stop for a little bit, but I forgot what I'm saying. <laughs> so, um, oh my gosh, I, I am such a dit. So I met all the wonderful people at StitchCon and then on um, the next day, we went to Shepherd's Bush, which I recorded my tour of the shop, which was amazing. I enjoyed every moment. I got to see all those beautiful finishes on our wall. So hopefully you enjoyed that tour. And then the same day, we went to another cottage store, which I can never remember the name, and I apologize. And I'm gonna put it right here, because it's pretty long, and I can never remember it, because I suck at names. And so, um, I'm going to go ahead and insert that tour at the end. If it's too long, it's probably going to be a separate video. I need to look at how much footage I actually recorded. So um, hopefully you guys will enjoy that tour as well. I had a great time um, seeing the shop. And then um, the same afternoon, I'm pretty sure it was the same one, um, Jennifer, Jennifer, um, was actually had lunch with Kay and I guess they were talking about there's this hostage warehouse that's 15 minutes away from where we were and so then Kay was like well you want to come and so I'm like um yeah what is this cottage store can I can I just tag along with you guys I just want to check it out so I went and oh my goodness I died and went to heaven if if I could be, if I could live in a cottage store, I would be so happy. And if I could have all the time and all the hands and all the fingers to stitch, I would just be, I, that would be, I wouldn't have anything else to worry about and ask for because everything else I would want is in one place. So um, it is the Stitchery Express, which is owned by Cindy Sorley. Um, they're known for the fabric, the printed fabric, like We The People. And so I was amazed by just how much stuff are in that warehouse. It's a warehouse style shopping, which I love warehouse style shopping apparently, because everything that you could probably ask for, it's there. But I would say that I think it was a good thing for us to go to Shepherd's Bush, the first, the first store that we went to. So then I had an idea of some of the things that I'm like, oh, I really love that one. And I remembered it. So, um, then I went there and I got the stuff and Cindy gave us amazing discounts and um, her prices are comparable to 123 Stitch. So if you want to check out her um, shop, I'm going to link it down below. And then um, most of her business is actually on their Facebook group, which I'm also going to put down below. And um, you can join it and um, you can see the things that they have that are on sale, the deals they're having. So um, yeah, pretty, pretty fun. So thank you so much, Cindy, for opening your store. I went insane. So I went the first night with some of the people and I didn't realize who would be there for like forever. I mean, it was amazing and I, I didn't get to see everything. And I think I did like a bit of footage, but not a whole lot. Um, and then the next day I went back with Kef and that's when Kef bought her very first Nora Corbett design. And so we had a lot of fun and the, the second night I bought more things and um, yeah. So those are some of like kind of the recap of the weekend. I'm gonna try to whatever footage I have of the weekend, I'm gonna put it at the end because I don't really know what I did. And but yeah, one of the highlights is obviously watching Kef do her Mirabilia for the very first time. Well, not Mirabilia. Nora Corbett for the very first time. And she picked um, Eva, which is a witch, and she's stitching it on this beautiful fabric, printed fabric with the moon by um, Cindy Sorley 
from the shop so she's so excited and I'm gonna see if I have any footage of that and I'm gonna link it down on the end of the video as well if you like to see it but it's so fun um, it's just great to watch Kef um, stitch so that's it for like a weekend recap I'm on like I don't even know how many minutes I'm talking and I keep stopping and starting so I don't know how long this video is gonna gonna be but let's go ahead and talk about um, some of the things that I've worked on the past couple of weeks. So not a whole lot of stitching at Stitch West because I did more socializing and more shopping. But what I did work on, I'm going to show you guys. So um, I have my Stitch West bag, which I love. Um, I made it. <laughs> so a lot of people actually pre-ordered their bags and I have to make myself one, of course. So the main thing that I worked on in the whole entire weekend is this piece, which is by Cricut Collection. Move my needle. Let me see this. And I started this a couple of weeks ago, and this is how this is where I am now. So when I was in Stitch West, I worked on the T. And then now I'm almost done. I'm gonna try and attempt and finish the piece before midnight tonight so that I, I could finish my Christmas or start Christmas stitching tomorrow. So I really love it. This is a fabric by Color Cascade. I don't know the name of it, but um, it is a 28 count. So I enjoy that. I'm also using um, variegated or hand dyed threads that I have in my stash. So what I would just do is I would just look at the picture and see what the closest thread I have that I own. And that's how I stitch this piece. I don't know, I don't know exactly. I could probably find like the exact um, threads if you're interested, but yeah, so I was just going, stitching as I go along. That's the piece so you guys can see it better. Um, so yeah, that's what I worked on. And then, where is it? I was holding on to it. And then I did work a little bit on um, First Yard Christmas by Praise Birdie Stitches. And, but every time I start, I get distracted. So here is the Praise Birdie Stitches. I worked on a little bit of na the nativ nativity on, in the middle, but I'm hoping that I could maybe do a finish on this. It's probably gonna be my November, um, piece because I would like to have it hang and ready for um, Christmas. So that is that. And then um, that is really it. And then I had a new start because I saw this at that one cottage store which I can never remember the name. The Fine Arts Stitchery Place. The Fine Stitchery Place. And this is the Autumn Quaker by Rosewood Manor. I am using all the Cold 4 threads, which is the Baldani thread. And I am using PTP Doubloon on a 28 count. And I have my little needle minders from um, Robin and from Ray. And actually, Ray also gave me like a little button on the back. So yeah, thanks so much, Ray. And then I am have some of um, clay needle minders that I'm gonna be putting in my Instagram. So if people are interested in purchasing one, you can. Um, I'm not sure when that's gonna happen yet. But anyway, so that is the thing that I worked on. I know, right? I just talked enough and then that's the only thing I worked on. And then the rest of the time, I spent it shopping and buying all the things. And so the first, you already saw, I bought um, Autumn Quaker with the threads. And 
super fun. I'm enjoying stitching on it when I can. And then I, wait, I want to show you guys this. This is one of the things I worked on, sorry. Such a ditz. Sorry, people. But this is where I'm at with Brave's Birdie Stitches Widow Blocks B and B. So I tried to work on the tree right here. Let me move my soda. And I was hoping for a Halloween finish, but I got distracted by shiny objects. So not gonna happen this year, maybe next year. And then that's it. I tried, I wanted to work on this in Stitch West. I just didn't have the time because I was focusing on the autumn piece because I thought that it would get me to a finish faster than this piece right here. Although I feel like I will be there. I'm almost done with that. So anyway, so that is it. I guess we should move on to um, the haul. I'm hoping that my friend Ella doesn't come. And so I guess we could just start with um, some of the freebie, um, freebie things I got from the freebie table. I'm going to start off with this magazine, which is the, what is it? Okay, come on, focus. This right here is because of that main, um, that piece in front. I'm pretty sure Pam of Just Keep Stitching has this pattern and I was like, well, I want to, I want to, I want to stitch that someday. I don't know when, but maybe someday. So I got that on the freebie table and then somebody left this. I snagged it so quickly. It's a Dimension Gold Collection. The name is Horses by a Stream. And oh my gosh, I have to go, I have to snag it. It has all the threads in it, it's unopened. So yeah, fun, got excited. That was a good find on the freebie table. And then I also found the Stone Creek, Stony Creek Back to Goal um, pattern. I thought the said the one that says welcome friends is so cute and the trick or treat house and that little welcome friends up here. I that's so cute. So yeah, that's on the freebie table. And I also got from the freebie table this right here, which is a letter from Nora. The only thing is I was gonna give it some of some of my friends that stitches that has the C name. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Undecided on this, but I'm like, that's too good to pass up. I gotta get that. All right, I need to have a pile because it's gonna start going instant here probably. And then I also picked up a Rosewood Manor. This is America, land that I love, as well as this one, Rosewood Man Manor, Dreaming of Moms, because you guys know how much I love Rosewood Manor by Karen Kluba. So hopefully I can start that. So those are some of the things I got from the freebie table. And then um, I should probably see if I could find the things I got from the shepherd's bush. But it's kind of haphazard in here because this, I just, these are stuck with things and I've been taking things left and right from it. And then these are some of the fabric that I got from Shepherd's Bush. Pretty, pretty autumn. I have slots for this particular print. And um, this one, blue one, I can pick it out. I will have slots for this shortly. I will not, I'm still on the side of the window when I open up the pre-order because I'm trying to catch up on everyone's orders right now before I open it again for more. But yeah, so I got all bajillion fabrics. There's so there's more upstairs that I that's not up, that's not down here. I just thought that it would be too much. I'm like surrounded by clutter. 
But anyway, so let's start with the haul. So, first thing comes out in the bag with no, in no particular order. I'm just going to start pulling things out. But most of my money went into all these threads. I had, I got in like over, I don't know, 100 plus um, hand dyed threads from various shops. So, to, and I kitted a couple of things. And then I also got, um, what are these? These are like little remnants of pieces. And I thought if I would do more smalls for retreats that I have fabric to work on all of that. And then um, Jordan from Little Stitch Girl designed a pattern for Stitch West. And this is kitted up with threads to stitch this wreath right here. This right here. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Jordan. I know that Debbie was so excited to show it to us. I don't blame her. And then I picked up um, beads because I bought, these are some of the beads, for the Nora Corbett 12 Days of Christmas because I bought the whole set of 12 Days of Christmas. I'm going to show it to you guys quickly. Sorry, not ready. I know you guys are probably hating me because of all the crinkling and all the sounds, but bear with me. So, um, there's this one. It is 12 Drummers Drumming. Why is my thing dark? Hang on. Hang on, guys. Ooh, there you go. And... So 12 drums drumming. This is 11 Piper's Piping. Ted Lords of Leaping. Hello. Nine Ladies Dancing. That's pretty. I want to stitch that. Eight Maids of Milking. Seven swans a swimming. That's so pretty. Six geese a laying. I feel like I'm singing a Christmas song right now. Five golden rings. <laughs> okay, four calling birds. Where are that? Four calling birds. Oops, sorry guys. Got it. I think I need to hide my face. There you go. Okay, three French hands. I just I just want to sing the, the song. <laughs> Two turtle doves. And a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> and a partridge in a pear tree. I'm not the best singer. And then I also got the sleigh for the Christmas Eve couriers because Debbie is going a, doing a saw. So I actually need to figure out the fabric I'm going to use for that piece. And yeah, so I bought some of the beads for it. Um, oh, I forgot. Um, Debbie also made us a black couture um, Christmas ornament. Everyone got one of these. Thank you so much. And also, I will not be I would be amiss if I did not mention that Leslie the Fleur of Under Disney Fabric was there. Leslie had a whole table of fabric. I bought a fabric for my friend Ella, and then she's gonna um, do like a math on how much fabric I need for the 12 days of Christmas because I want to stitch it all in one piece. Because you all know I don't do smalls, I do big. Even though it's small, I want to do it all in one big piece. So, yes. And then I also picked up Cricut Collection. This is December. I'm not sure where I bought this. But I did. 
as well as the Winter Quaker with the Baldani threads. It's not even open yet. Do that. Let me show you guys the threads. So this is a thread pack. Pretty colors. I also bought this one. Vicky Hastings Cricut Collection. That will be for next year maybe. And then I picked this up from Shepherd's Bush called Queen Bee by the what did I call this? Blackberry Rabbit. They had a really good um, thread um, conversion on that. Also another Cricut collection, Farmer's Market. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of haul. I'm sorry, everyone. I also bought um, this pattern from Jeanette Douglas, Scissors and Threads. I kitted it up. The pattern is right here somewhere, the actual pattern. But I'm not going to show you guys. That's why, that's why there's no powder inside because I took it out um, so that I can work on it, hopefully. And then I also got a um, Mill Hill bead kit. This one is the Honey Pot. And the one that has, hello, pineapple. Also got these. I took out... I took out the plastic bag because I needed it for something. But it's an ornament, so cute. Maybe I will work on it. Maybe it's a keyword in everything in life. I also got Wilhelmina Plum Street Samplers. This is the first time I actually bought Plum Street Sampler patterns because I've never owned any Plum Street. Another Plum Street is the Adams Family. I think I kitted this one too. I'm not quite sure. I need to look at my threads and like divide where everything should go. Bought another Mirabilia. Give me one moment. My friend Ella's calling me. Okay guys, sorry. I'm interrupted again today. Today is not the best day to record a video, I guess, but it is what it is. It's gonna be what it is. So, where am I with my haul? So my friend Ella is in front of me, but she doesn't want to be in the video. And so she's, look, yes, you hear her hopping and hopping over there. And then my dog is right here. Chloe, come here. You want to say hi? Come here. You probably can't see. You probably see her tail behind me pass by. Back like there. You see her tail? Yeah. So anyway, so I was showing you Raven by Mirabilia. What do you think of this one? Very, very sassy. Very sassy. <laughs> so there's a color conversion of this piece that I saw. Oh my gosh, my dog's tail. <laughs> Chloe Bear. Chloe Bear, come here. Come here, come here, baby. Come here, say hi. Say hi, everyone. Okay, what else? Um, she's just walking around because Auntie Ella's here, so yep. she's excited. Come here, Papa. So, um, yeah, so I saw a conversion of this piece, and it was done in gold. Yeah, like instead of instead of um, it's black and gold. That would be crazy. So it looks like have you seen that movie um, Starlight <coughs> with Charlize Theron? Mm -hmm. It's Huntsman. like that, The Huntsman. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's that. It's that feeling. I'm gonna show you. But that's what I wanted to stitch on this. Maybe next year. I don't know. Maybe in all the maybes I have in the world. And then from Shepherd's Bush, I picked up. Two Mirabilia's, which is Winter Love. This is one of the newer ones. Focus. And I don't know when I'm going to stitch it, but she needs to be in my collection. But do you see her on like a really sparkly fabric? It will be, especially the background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry if you hear that sound. That's my dog. Drinking water. And then I thought I don't own this, but I do. And I actually, actually, I ordered another one. So I now have three. So I'm going to be giving away this pattern when I reach 2,000 subscribers. I don't know when that's going to happen. But I'm going to give it away. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what? I told her to just sit here beside me and she can do commentary on my haul. But she's like, no. I'm like, okay. Then I got this. This is actually not mine. This is Ella's. 
which is um, the Bella Filipina. Come on, focus. It's called Portrait of Maria Clara. Can you tell me something about this? Because I'm I'm not familiar. You're 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 more versed in like the Filipino history and culture than me. So Maria Clara represents the modesty and the um, the history of how Filipina women are portrayed and yeah. should be. Like this, well dressed, don't have your coochie coochie hanging out. That's right. And Maria Clara <laughs> is a symbol of class. And elegant, and elegant, yeah, okay. and um, pride in you know being a woman. So oh. she, so even even the outfit. You're right. It's a, it's the a, outfit. She's a symbol of femin femininity, femininity. grace, right. sophistication, and come. love in one of Rizal's novel. That's right. That's right. She's in a novel, Noli Mi Tangere. I was getting ready to tell you that. Which is Noli Mi Tangere. It's like national book of the Philippines. That's right. And El Filibusterismo. That's right. Yes. Okay, yep. I remember. You remember Ooh. now? <laughs> So, yeah, and um, it has like a little thing on the bottom, but yeah. we're going to stitch this together. Mm -hmm. I kitted it up. I have the thread for it. It's somewhere in all my stash. I would say, though, so this is the first time that I kitted up one of his designs. It has a lot of DMC. Yes, 50. There you almost. go. Ella and I happened to be at Joanne's at the same time. And we time. kitted it. And we kit it up when Joanne's was having a 40% um, off sale. Yeah. So when you go, you need to go use a coupon. Sure did. So, yeah, I got that. And then I also bought a yard of this fabric. I'm not sure who the manufacturer is, but it has the one that has the dots. So I figured if I do like a Christmas one, one of these days, or I don't know, Easter, I don't know yet. I'm... Or angel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty fabric. So that's that. And then I also got praiseworthy stitches. Why are you huffing and puffing about? Because. Because what? Because I have another. Remember I told you that my girlfriend gifted me with another. Is this, but it's a Halloween, but it's not the same. I was going to say, is it this one? No, it's a different one. Okay, well, yeah. you know. So this one is called... If it focuses on the thing now on my face, I need to hide. I need to hide. There. No. Yeah. Mummy's Moonlight Cafe because Jordan was stitching this at Stitch West and she was working on the roof. And the roof is, you see how it's like, what, gingham? What is that print? Kind of gingham. It is gingham. Like, it's like gray and yeah. like gingham. Yeah. And I thought it was the coolest thing. It's so much cooler in person. Yeah. So I had to get it. And I kitted it up with all the threads somewhere in this bag. So got that. Also bought Jeanette Douglas, the Four Season Sampler. I love Jeanette Douglas design. She's got pretty stuff. I, you know, she, it's pretty. This ha has a lot of uh, Belsois. Um. Or I think you can choose either one, I think. I'm not sure. I need to look. Oh, yeah. Chloe's coming. But that is one of the ones I wanted to start soon. Maybe. I also picked up this one from Jeanette Douglas. Because Ella loves pineapple. <laughs> She'll do. <laughs> I'm the pineapple queen. There you go. She's all about pineapple. Wear your crown. I know. Stand tall. Wear your crown. Be sweet on the inside. Yeah. And all another Palm Street. This is Palm Again Santa. I saw a, a stitched piece on this and I thought it was pretty cool in person. So it's very not something I will not I will not do, but you know. And then this one, American mm -hmm. Sampler. You must stitch this. It's so pretty. What is what is what is Chloe doing? I'm gonna close it just in Yeah, because bark. she doesn't bark. Um, it says on the bottom, "Give me a calm and thankful heart from every murmur free. The blessings of thy grace impart. Preserve our liberty." So I kitted this as well. Look at those two. I wish you guys can see this too. My dog does not love a lot of people, but she loves Auntie Ella because she thinks that Auntie Ella is gonna give her the good stuff. Oh my gosh. Another pattern I got is this one, Blackbird Designs, Yellow Submarine, 
This is the fifth in the Magical Mystery Tour series. I just think the colors are so cute, don't you think, Ella? Yes. She doesn't even know. She's she's over there playing with my doll. Yeah. Okay. So I got that. Oh, and I bought these for the both of us, me and Ella, have this. <laughs> but I thought she would appreciate it. So I bought it for the both of us. It's called Soul Sisters. I kitted it up. So yeah, love it. I don't know what I'm gonna use for um, the stuff for that. Oh, I got these too. These are corner gauge gauges. If it would focus. There, where is it? Come on. There. So cool. Um, it will make your stitching a lot easier when you're working on stuff. And then another, this is like a bag that keeps on giving. I see you guys, I, you guys can tell, I went insane. I went crazy. Another um, bead kit for the um, seven, what is it? 12 days of Christmas. And then everything else that are in here are just threads that I need to figure out where it goes. But this is the information for um, Cindy Sorley. There it is, focus. If you'd like to um, follow her on her Instagram, on our Instagram, Facebook group, that's where you can find all the things that she sells. Um, and she, you can order through that. And then I think she invoices through PayPal. So that is some of the haul. There's more, don't you all worry. I'm looking over on my side. <laughs> my friend was like, I can't believe it. I just keep on, I have so much stuff around me. It's not even funny. I know. But listen guys, I finally found one of my unicorn. This is the Blackbird Designs Loose Feather Series. I paid an arm and a foot on these suckers. But I have winter, autumn, and summer. Yay, I love it. So I got that. I also, okay, see this? I, have, I, don't, I knew I bought these patterns. I bought the holiday hoopla by with thy with thy needle and thread. It would focus. That would be awesome. Yeah, there you go. So I got this from Set Shepherd's Bush. And then I also got oh my god, this is like the haul that never ends. But these are some of the hauls that I got before I left for Stitch West. I got another Millhold bead, Christmas Cottage. This is the Christmas Cottage, Christmas Village. This is Needle Workshop. Isn't it pretty cool? I like that one. It comes with the threads. Mm -hmm. Ella, can you do me a favor? There's a pattern right there. Mm -hmm. It's a dimension kit. I need to show that to you. I also got my Color and Cotton Fabric of the Month. This is Sterling. Very pretty. And then this. Okay, this is one of the patterns that people have been going insane on eBay. But Dimension just reprinted this pattern. It is called Scenic Farm. It reminds me of the Pennsylvania countryside. Like the Dutch, like the Amish countryside. This is still Pennsylvania. But yeah, so get you some. I bought mine from Kirshner's. They reprinted it on April. Because they have the date, 04-21 April. Comes with all the threads and everything else. And then one last thing. One last thing she said, cottage related wise. I had got another Shadowlane kit. <laughs> my friend Alice over here like, oh my gosh, what? I, I need to clone you. Why? So you can do I all know, the I know, I don't have time to do all the things. So yeah, I got these and that is it, I think. <laughs> I'm looking around me like, is this really it? I guess that's it, the things I got. But yeah, I, ha I actually forgotten what I bought and, not, and did not get because, oh, never mind, there is one more thing cost stitch related. I'm looking at the box. I have a box right here. I put this box beside me to see and it was full of things. 
because I couldn't carry everything downstairs with my both my hands. But I got the whole entire series of Harbor Haven by the ba by by the Bay Needle Art. So it has all the stuff to do the whole scenic. I saw somebody stitch this at Stitch Con. And it was amazing. I don't know who it was, but it was amazing because it was just one long piece of fabric with all the things. Um, and I believe this was a stitch along last year and it has 12 parts to it. But yeah, it's amazing. I need to figure out like the size of um, fabric and all that things I'm gonna need because I think I, wanna, I would wanna stitch this in one piece as well. What do you think, Ella? I like one piece. That would look better. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, it's amazing. It's it's continuous. Instead of sing singles. Yeah, so that's it for my haul, cross stitch wise. And then I'm gonna show you guys. It's like, and then, and then, and then, it's never gonna end. And then, um, I'm gonna show you guys fabric. How about that? Is that something that y'all would love to see? So I got some fabric last week, Aaron. Ella hasn't even seen this. Nobody has seen this yet. But these are some of the fabric I got. It has bead. And it looks like embroidery. Cross stitch look like. Yeah. Um, it has a coordinating fabric that I, I bought it with. I need to figure out which one goes with which. So I haven't, dis I haven't, I haven't determined it yet. See, everything is still in bags because I haven't opened it yet. But I have more of the Christmas Primitive that everybody went insane. So I bought more of the fabric. I will be opening pre-order on this soon. Once I catch up with everyone's orders. I also got more of these. And B fabric because B fabrics are always a good idea in my book. And the, oh my gosh, let's see look. I just look at the box. I knew it. I knew it. Clinkle, clinkle, clinkle. <laughs> There's so the fabric. So there's more. I bought this version as well. But this one, this fabric, I need, I don't know what I'm going to use it for the um, interior. But because I'm a calligrapher, it, this, is, this is a fabric for me. But look. It has like the pointed nibs and it has calligraphy on it. Um, this is like my fabric. I mean, I bought it for me and I am yet to find a fabric that will go well with it. Something with yellow. Or so yellow. yeah, but I want to do like an interior that has like calligraphy. Mm, yeah, you have to. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that would look nice. That would look nice. Mm -hmm. So, so those are some of the fabric I recently got, as well as the Shepherd's Bush, Shepherd's Bush, yeah, Shepherd's Bush purchases, and, um, what am I talking about? Blackboard Design Fabrics. But here's the thing. I just look inside the box. There's more. So I got Silver Creek um, samplers, my Christmas list. This is not going to be hard to stitch. Look at it, Ella. Isn't it? If I were you, what? She should open her own store with all this stuff she's got. Look like she's got a store in her house. You, you did, right? Because I have all the things. I don't have anywhere to put shit. I mean stuff. I'm not going to edit that or whatever. But one of the mo most important things that I have not yet to show you guys is my stitchy kindness all the way from Australia. So um, I got this really sweet card from the mail. And Michelle, this is um, not Australia. What am I talking about? New Zealand. New Zealand. It's like two different countries. Why are you laughing at me? Two opposite continents. I know, I'm bad. So, but I mean, I meant to say New Zealand. New Zealand. She's from New Zealand, but she knew that I've been looking for um, maintenance of the season number one, and she gifted me with number one. She saw my unicorn chart list. 
And this one too. This is also one of my unicorn chart. It is Garden Versus by Nora Corbett. And then in the package, you also include two bars of chocolates that I already ate. They're gone because I love chocolates. I didn't even share it to my, with my husband because I was like, no, I only have two. So, <laughs> anyway, that is it for now. I would want to mention that this bag is available. It is ready to ship if you'd like to claim it. It is the Amish countryside bag. Um, so if you like to see a closer look, all you have to do is if you'd like to claim this bag is to, hang on, me not being in focus, is to just send me a DM on Instagram and just let me know that you like it. And um, first person who pays your invoice gets it. But um, it's 16 by 16, fully lined with this really cool looking interior fabric with my house of stitch and stash. So yeah, that is it for today. I don't remember what I said. My whole, my, actually my camera is about to die. I've talked enough, like an hour and a half, I think, maybe an hour. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you, all of you, and love you all so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Happy Halloween, bye.